Perhaps the greatest struggle we face is trying to uphold a set of standards that are not our own. We may face many expectations thrust upon us by other people, organizations, even families, and birth belief paradigms. The sad truth is that many of these standards are thrust upon us by those who themselves are not able to meet those standards. It is not unacceptable to say that any external standard is intolerable and will not be assumed. However, our needs for social acceptance, love, and belonging have us doing many things that are not in alignment with our being. This is not to say that external standards are not beneficial. Indeed, the pursuit of an external standard presented to us may help us to recognize our own strengths and talents that we may never have realized in any other way. This is not about rejecting any expectations presented to you from an external source. This is about choosing to be who you are and realizing that you are constantly in a process of developing. You will find a fountain of unlimited joy and personal exaltation when you set your own standards based upon your own ideas, joys, and goals. There is no reason your own personal standards need to meet or exceed any external standard, nor is there any reason your personal standards need to work in opposition to external expectations. Struggle can be good. To rise above challenges and prove to be the victor adds to your own personal power and increases strength, physical, mental, and emotional. When you find that you may be struggling too much, when you find it impossible to carry on, or that expectations thrust upon you are too great, then it is time to reevaluate who and what you are. Constantly we are bombarded with expectations of lifestyle, dress, income level, social status, etc, etc, etc. We are taught that we must feel that if we do not maintain these unrealistic expectations, that we will be ostracized and cast out from our community. Nay, nay I say, there is no truth in this. Certainly you will face sharp words and harsh criticisms when you set upon your own journey through life. Yet, when others see and understand the joys you have found, when they bask in the light of your own personal exaltation, they will understand that they have always had the right to do the same. I dare to say that your greatest attractors will be the ones most envious of your pursuits, yet dare not engage in their own gregarious activities. So be bold, be free, and live to the fullest of your being, for you and others will take flight and a myriad of lights will shine on through the ages, undaunted by the fear of banishment and unfaltering in the pursuit of ultimate joys.